Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on tuberculosis, arthritis. So tuberculosis is a chronic debilitating illness which is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. And this bacteria usually affects the lungs once it enters the body through droplet infection. In some cases, however, this TB occurs outside the lungs and is known as extrapulmonary TB. So extrapulmonary TB in the joints is known as tuberculosis arthritis, which is the main topic for this video. And this TB arthritis generally affects large joints, like the knee, and can also lead to serious disruption of the joint and tendon, which also, while also spreading to the surrounding bursa, muscles and soft tissues. So TB is a very important disease to take note, and there are some main entities in orthopedics, which are like TB spondylitis, TB osteomyelitis, arthritis, tenosynovitis, and also myositis. So the common sites of TB arthritis is in the spine, where it consists of 50% of the cases, and it usually settles in the vertebral body adjacent to the intervertebral disc. Other sites include the hip and the knee joint. So the clinical features, there are TB symptoms such as fever, especially prolonged fever, loss of weight, night sweats, and also enlarged limb nodes. For the joint symptoms, the joint that is affected, usually it is a chronic cause over months, where there is constant pain and stiffness, swelling, wasting, reduced range of motion, there might be some deformity, and also diffuse worm and tenderness. So since spine is the most common site of TB arthritis, some of the features include they may have kyphosis, long history of ill health and backache, local tenderness, and also POTS paraplegia, where there is compression of the spinal cord by a soft inflammatory material, such as abscess, caseous mass, or even granulation tissue. Or it can be compressed by a hard solid material, such as bony secretion, or ridge of bone at the kyphos. And the vertebra may collapse, causing a POTS gibbous, usually at the thoracic region of the spine. So this picture shows a gibbous deformity in a TB patient. To investigate for TB arthritis, we can do x-ray, where the early signs include soft tissue swelling, generalized reflection of the bone, narrowing of the joint space, and also there might be bone erosion of the joint surfaces. In late stage, they may have cystic destruction of the joint, and also periarticular osteoporosis is a significant finding as well. To focus more on spine, if it is TB spine, which is quite common among TB arthritis, the expected findings on x-ray would be local osteoporosis of the two adjacent vertebrae, narrowing of the intervertebral space, there might be fuzziness of the end plates, collapse of adjacent vertebra, and also paraspinal soft tissue shadows, which could suggest for edema or abscess formation. Other investigations include synovial biopsy, where the sections will show the characteristic histological features and they may be identification of the acid fast bacilli, which suggests for mycobacterium tuberculosis. You can also do needle biopsy, which is a diagnostic investigation for spine TB. ESR would be high and Mantux test would be positive. For treatment, you can give anti TB drugs which include isoniazid, rifampicin, and pyrazinamide. Rest the joint until the acute symptoms settle, traction, and splintage. If the articular surfaces are destroyed, have to immobilize the joint. And for long-term treatment, if there is in late stage or there is excessive disruption, can consider joint arthrodesis or replacement. So some of the indications of for joint arthrodesis or replacement would be if there are repeated flares of episodes or the articular surfaces are extensively destroyed. Surgery can also be done where there are a few indications. If there is abscess formation, we have to do drainage and spinal fusion is done for mark bone destruction and also progressive deformity. Surgery can also be done if there is threatened paraplegia that does not respond to conservative treatment. So that's all for this video. Thank you.